still, you know, offense has kind of progressed through camp through the preseason and maybe the readiness uh, level for the, for the regular season? Yeah, I think we've improved a lot through camp. I mean, we've still got a lot to work on. We've got a lot of days leading up to um, Arizona. But, I mean, yeah, we're trying to improve every day, keep working on um, just getting better as a unit, working together, being out there, and just, yeah, keep improving. You and Tannehill were able, when he first took over, you guys kind of like hit it off really quickly. How much does the actual on-field work together go into that as opposed to the conversations in the classroom? Yeah, it's a combination of both, but I mean, ultimately, we got to be able to do it on the field. I mean, that's when you're actually running full speed, timing against the defense, against different looks. So, I mean, the film is obviously important just to hear what you're seeing and give um, visuals to guys. But being on the field and going full speed is the only thing that's going to really how be able to. How difficult would it be if that was taken away for two, three weeks when you guys were trying to develop that? Yeah, I mean, that's something that is going to struggle with, but uh, we're all professionals here and we're going to do our best to take advantage of the opportunities we get and be really detailed and take advantage of those whenever we get on the field together. You watched uh, John last year and, and was such a great red zone target. What did you see from him in terms of, of how he got so open in that area? And, and you know, do you think you can do some of the same uh, this year? Yeah, John did really well in the red zone. Um, I think speed was important, being physical, attacking the ball. Um, we're all great attributes that he used to uh, make big plays for offense. And yeah, we're going to have guys step up in all different areas and be able to produce. You might wind up getting a few more red zone targets yourself in the, in the situation that you're in. Yeah, there. we'll see what happens leading up to the year. But yeah, we'll see what the game plans are and just going forward. How exciting is it to, to start preparing for another team after you going against yourself? Yeah, no, it's a nice kind of. Yeah, um, we haven't started going game plan yet, but yeah, we're going to keep improving from what we have, looking over this um, preseason and all the practices we put together. And But yeah, it'll be good to kind of go against um, kind of back to game planning and back to like attacking the defense and seeing how we're going to prepare each week. Yeah, and I've tried to keep improving each day, I mean, all areas of my game, keep developing the pass game, keep improving, being more reliable in the run game. Um, yeah, just being able to be used and utilized wherever the offense needs me and whatever the situation is. What was the biggest thing you set out to try to prove in this preseason that you can take on that largest, larger role? Um, I think just all around is important. I mean, as tight end, just being versatile. And yeah, just, I mean, run game was something I'm trying to focus on more. Um, as well as keep improving the pass game stuff. So it's just kind of versatility is the biggest thing for a tight end. So I think just improving all areas of your game. Do you think you've gotten at, at the, the part you've been working on the most? Uh, yeah, I tried to keep improving. I mean, we'll see when real bullets are flying against real, real guys and stuff like that. But I mean, going against our guys in practice is a great um, test and just going to keep working on that and learning off the film. Yeah, it's a it's a stressful time going through cuts and everything, and teams making final decisions. But I mean, just knowing that this isn't your last opportunity. That um, as long as you worked hard with this team and in the preseason and put good stuff out there, that you'll have opportunities elsewhere. It took me. I've been cut two time, three times and been to three different teams. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to give those guys hope of taking advantage of the next opportunity and just knowing that those chances will start to dwindle. So just take advantage of those when they go. Maybe some of those experiences help kind of make you work harder or want to dig in even more. Yeah, I think it does, like, kind of set something in your – like when you first come – to a team, when you get undrafted, you really don't know what it's like being cut. So when you once you feel that and just realize how terrible that feeling is, you just kind of have that in the back of your mind when you're with that next team and just realizing that you don't want to go through that again and you want to be able to stick and show value to the club each and every day. Early on, Bravo talked about kind of raising and wanting to raise expectations around here. How have you guys kind of embraced that? And now as we're getting closer to game week, do you feel it even more? Yeah, I feel like we've tried to do it with every practice we're out in the field, just being working on conditioning, speed, technique, fundamentals, and just making sure we're improving that each day we're out here, taking advantage of the time we have on the field, the time we have in the meeting room, and just never being satisfied and 
ever thinking that nothing is ever good enough, pretty much, and just kind of saying that we need to improve in this area. Anthony, obviously you guys haven't had a whole lot of time, like as a starting offense, right, due to maybe injuries or the reserve COVID-19 list. Just how confident are you that it's all going to be able to come together, um, you know, by the time the, the regular season starts and games start counting? Yeah, I'm confident. I mean, a lot of guys have played a lot of football for us um, in the past, and I know they'll be ready. They've been training hard in the treatment room and with PT, so and they've been getting on the field every opportunity they get and trying to work with.